hello everybody welcome back to my channel yes i am filming on my new iphone x not because i wanted to test it out but because you will see further down the line in this crazy ass video so many things that i went through um but the important part is that i finished this is the final look if you'd like to see how i got it um please keep watching for foundation, we have a new foundation and it is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. Um, I've never tried it before. I did swatch it on my hand in Target and I did notice that it smelled so good. And the formula felt so rich, still lightweight and so creamy, so smooth. And bought two shades because I think I'm kind of in the middle of it. I always think that I'm darker than what I really am but that's just me I hate being pale so I got the shade 732 I'm gonna put that on first and then I'm going to if it's too dark I'm gonna mix it with the 725 shade three little pumps that looks like a whole lot let's see let's hope that this is my shade kind of looks like it Oh my god, this foundation smells so good. Like, I've never ever smelled something like this. Um, I think... I think we'll stick with this shade. Even if it oxidizes, I don't think it's going to be so bad. I'm going to use three more pumps and then continue to cover the rest of my face. This is the very first layer of foundation. As you can see, my birthmark is peeking through just a tad, but I wouldn't say it is a all-natural light coverage foundation um it has pretty decent coverage so i'm just going i'm very curious so i'm going to put on another layer and see if i can build it up this is my face with the second layer added on and what i can say is that first of all my face smells like a freshly baked cake decorated mm. in fresh roses it smells so good um for the finish, it's pretty much a satin finish, not a dewy satin finish. It's definitely not matte, but it's very soft and satiny, which I do like. Full coverage, no. Decent coverage, yes. So I would use this foundation again based on how it applies, how easily it blends out. It oxidizes a tad, which is good because if it oxidized too much, it would be way off on my color. Um, but so far so good. Concealer, Shape Tape by Tarte. I am in the shade Light Medium Honey. A few dots underneath. Upside down triangle. Not too close to the under eye. I'm going to set my under eye with my trusty Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and my pointed elf brush i'm going to pat that under make sure you look up pat some powder on make sure you look down pat some powder just to make sure you have your crease lines covered um, while that is setting, I bought a new setting powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Medium. So I also use the Finishing Face Powder. I forget what it's called. I think it's like Super Stay. And I have the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. So I love Maybelline products. I was curious about this. I hope I got my light, my right shade. There's not too many shades. It's a twist off. Okay. And it looks so fancy inside. So to 
set that with, I am going to use my e.l.f. powder brush. I bought this also as well. And these e.l.f. brushes, I'm not sure what the series is called. It doesn't say. This is brush 101 by the way and it is a powder brush. So I'm going to use this to dip into the cap where my powder is. And I'm going to tap that over. This brush picked up so much powder. Oh, oh my god. I wish you guys could see the mess I just made. <sighs> so don't go in with not even a medium to light hand. You need an extremely light hand for this. I don't even know what to do. There's powder everywhere. I'm gonna just tap some of this off. Oh my god. These brushes are awesome. This just picked up so much powder as you can see. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Whatever. Moving on. I'm just... I'm going to spread this all out. Oh my gosh. What did I do? Okay, that could have went south real fast, real quick. So, um, oh, okay. The powder is so super pigmented, so you do not need a lot. So that was a combination of the powder brush picked up so much product, and that's not even a bad thing, so that's awesome. It's doing its job. And the powder looks very thick and um like condensed but in reality well as soon as it touches your skin it really just distributes everywhere and there's so much powder um that is a great thing because it means that you do not need a lot when applying it which also means it will not run out quickly even as i was i'm rubbing it around my face it does not come off and it's really sticking to the foundation and it's doing its job once again it is setting the foundation my face is now fully matte so it is a matte finish but it's not that dry looking kind of matte finish it's a beautiful maybe with a touch of satin finish i'm sorry i'm just like really amazed by this powder it it just it dried everything really quick it does not feel cakey um my face doesn't look cakey and i'm blown away by it i love it so let's keep this tutorial going i am moving on to this nyx wonder stick instead of bronzer i'm going to use this contour stick this is medium tan and i'm going to apply this everywhere i would apply bronzer so under the cheekbones the forehead just draw that on and on the jaw lines i love this color then i am going to blend that out with this i bought this on amazon um, it is a flat top blending brush and it's just one of those like mermaid themed brushes. There's no name. There's no, oh wait, it says do color. I guess that's the brand it to blend in. I don't even know why that when I'm applying makeup, either my eyes are watering like a chopping onions or my nose starts running like I have no idea so I wonder if this happens to anyone else but this is so random I'm not even close to being sick so I have no idea why my nose is running so applying it it came it was very very creamy it went on very easily blending it out very smooth but I feel like the color was a little bit muddy looking and it didn't really 
complement this look at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to diffuse the color with the same powder brush I use with the setting powder and I'm just going to, with nothing on it, just the whatever powder I used, I'm going to diffuse that a little bit, lightly brushing over the contour stick that I just applied. I also feel like I don't look very bronzed and I feel like I would have had to keep applying more layers of the contour stick where that really would have been a disaster. So I don't think that's a product that I would have just needed more to build up on what I had. I used about two layers or two coats which didn't do me many favors. And I'm just going to use my favorite bronzer ever, Marc Jacobs Tantric with my Wet n Wild fan brush. And I'm going to go over where I applied the contour stick. Alright, so some more damage control was done and I feel like now we have a little more appropriate color going on and a bit patchy but not so bad I think. Um, moving on, let's go to blush. We're going to use one of my favorite. It's a Tarte in shade Party. I really love this blush. I'm not really sure if I bought it or it was a sample but I will continue to use it but I really don't recommend buying individual blushes. It just doesn't make sense. It's better to invest in blush palettes. I am going to show you guys this. This is the e.l.f. Little Black Book. It is the cutest thing ever. I saw it at Target and I just had to buy it. Um, it is a 48 color eye set and this is what it looks like in the plastic. How freaking cute is this? It's literally a little black book. It comes with these two brushes. One is a smudge brush and the bottom one is an Ooh. eyeshadow brush. It also comes ah. with this faulty thing that they set everyone up for. I don't even know. So this is what it looks like completely ah. out of the packaging and I am literally dying, dying, dying for this. Elf Little Black Beauty Book Warm Edition. So when you open it on the bottom, it is warm tones, browns and such neutral tones. And in the top, you have these fun 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 colors and fun tones and I just can't wait to get started. The very first shadow I'm going to go in with is going to be just an eyeshadow base and I'm gonna go with one of the colors that match my... Ooh. Okay. Very nice and pigmented. I'm going in with this shadow right here and I'm just going to put that all over my lid just to prep my lid for more shadows and to set the foundation. Second shade is going to be the very highest shade which is going to be up here and it's going to be a brown shade. I'm going to go in with the one right next to the base using a Y17 Morphe brush. Ooh, whoa. Tap some of that off and in very gentle windshield wiper motions, go in. Moving on, um, the very first color, it, beautiful. It has a little bit of a metallic sheen to it and Honestly, if I were going for a very subtle look, I would just go for one more color around here and maybe something in the inner corner and I'd be done. That would be a very basic, natural, chic look. But anyway, moving on, I got this palette because of all of these little green shades here and I really wanted to do this holiday look and as soon as I saw it, I bought it. So. First shade, the very lightest green, which is right here. I'm going to go in with a Morphe R39, this brush here. I am going to tap into the shade. Ooh. And then I'm just going to go 
one step a little bit lower. And yes, it might look messy right away, but you are taking your sweet time going in very small gentle strokes and working with a little bit of color at a time. If you take the color up too high, like I did previously, you just go back in with the previous brush, your very first shade, dip that in, and then just over where it is. I'm sorry. And you just go back and you make sure you blend that out. And it's kind of like dusting away where you took it too high. We are going to go in with the darker green. It's like a dark metallic green up here. And it's going to go even lower. And I am going to use this Luxie 121 Mini Tapered Brush. And it is the shade right here. And it's going to go just a tad lower. Right on the eyeball line. Right there right over not too far I'm not taking it in here stopping right here and I'm taking this eyeshadow over to the edge where I'm going to pack it on out here and do kind of like a lopsided triangle here and then back over we're gonna do that until we get a much darker intensity here because I am going for that green smoky eye. It is the holidays and green is my favorite color. So pack it on, pack it on and take it over to about a little past the mid eye right there. And blend it all out. And as you're going darker and darker, making sure there is no harsh lines where the two meet, you're going to go back with your previous color, which was the lighter green shade, and going over that top. I'm going to tell you that the making of this video has been so incredibly stressful. You guys have no idea. So, first of all, I'm really, really, really really sorry for from now on to the rest of the video the quality of this video because there was a huge major malfunction with both my camera and my sister's camera and both my memory card and her memory card we don't know exactly what's going on so it only leaves me uh, my laptop my mac computer i am now recording on my mac laptop and i made this decision because i didn't want to just stop and start all over then my reactions of everything my first impressions of everything would not be authentic so i do apologize of the quality and without further ado let's continue so the next shade i'm going to go in with is this hunter green uh, shade and i'm going to use the elf eye crease brush and i'm going to dab into it and just like the shade before this, the second shade of green, I'm going to keep this in the outer corner. And then there's nothing left on my brush. Sweep it over right on the crease right there. And this is just taking everything just one step darker. I'm going to go in with this very last shimmery green shade. I'm just curious to see if it'll darken up the eye a little more before I go with the black. So I'm going to take a very clean, also very small, dense brush. I'm going to pop into this darker shade of green. But it has some shimmer in it, so I'm not sure how much darker it's going to be. And with the same 
sections we are touching that into our outer corner tucking that on and there's nothing more on the, on the, on the, on the dress scoop that right over to the mid eyelid and just repeat those same steps tack on swipe over And I'm so, so sorry if you cannot fully see the details. I am so devastated with this whole camera situation, but it is the last time I'm going to get my shit together. I'm going to have backup on backups now. This is what happens when you don't use your shadow shield. You have all of this fall out, but it was really my fault because I was just in, I was just not being too careful. Also, um, we're gonna recreate what we did on the top on the bottom, so that's why I haven't been brushing it away really. So we're gonna go up with this black shade with a very fine elf brush. It is a two zero two. And we're going to very gently. Sorry, I thought I was recording. I'm so traumatized. Um, we're gonna go in very lightly, tap off the excess, and this is just staying in the outer corner. And we're drawing that on very slightly. Keeping this in the outer corner when there's nothing left, just barely going over to the middle of the lid. give us that intense look I am going for deepening up the green I am patting down this black I'm going to go back with the darkest green dipping in very slightly and just blending that all in that back and forth a couple of times before I reach the amount of darkness that I want. And moving on, we are going to use this NYX Pigments in shade, I'm not sure what the shade is, Kryptonite. So what I would recommend is, I picked up with my finger, patted it down, and then I went in with a very thin packer brush. This is from ColourPop. It is. It doesn't have the number or anything like that. But I went in just to go into my inner corner, and it really did help pack it on. Um, you can use shader brush, very, and go with very tiny amounts and pack it on gently because it was just all over. I'm happy that it just came right off, but it can be very very messy. So you can do that in very small amounts or use a little bit of the glitter glue and so that when you pack it on, not everything mostly stays on the lid and it doesn't make such a huge mess. So either or works. I couldn't find my glitter glue so I just packed it on. Um, this pigment is incredibly beautiful. So I'm so happy with how it turned out. On. For the bottom of my lid, I'm going to do exactly what I did up top to the very bottom. I'm going to go in with one of the new e.l.f. brushes from the Little Black Book set. I'm going to go in with the very lightest green, the very first shade of green, and I'm going to pack that under. Then I'm going to gradually go in with the other greens, and eventually the black will be only on the outer corner really really want an extravagant blown out eye eyelashes and they were 143 the eye low by Nicole Guerrero and these babies are extravagant like they are all out beautiful I'm trying to show you but it was such a mess okay so this is what they look like beautiful 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 
Um, unfortunately, the band was just so thick and plasticky that it really did not allow me to... It just didn't stay. It really did not stay. It was not a good look. Um, it was a big mess. So, moved on. I had to go to my go-tos, which are my House of Lashes, Iconic Lights. I... I love these. These are just as extravagant, just as beautiful. And the band is so lightweight, so easy to manipulate. They just popped right on. And lashes aren't even my thing. I love putting them on, but sometimes it's hair miss. For eyeliner, I use the Morphe Gel Liner. And it was more than I could even ask for in a gel eyeliner it was beautiful it's so soft very rich yet it moved around so easily um the brush is the morphe m443 also super easy to manipulate great combo i really truly do recommend and obviously knowing morphe this duo was probably less than 10 bucks mascara i use the total tees for my top and bottom lashes by covergirl Highlighter. I'm going to use the Cover FX Drops. This is the shade Rose Gold. I'm going to apply some drops. I'm going to go in with the Skin Twinkle Volume 2 palette, highlighting palette by Tarte. And I'm going to use the shade. Let's go in with Daylight, the very first here and I'm going to use a Morphe R31 it smells so good it's one of my favorite highlighting palettes and just to do that go right in there Oop. we are frosted to perfect Perfection. As you can see, I'm blending my own damn self right now. But moving on to lips, I wanted to do two alternatives for those who like a more muted lip or a nude lip. Have no fear, I got you. So I'm going to go in with the ABH shade Staunch in one of their twist up lippies. And then I'm going to go over it with some lip gloss. So I'm just going to shoot the rest of this video on my iPhone because I just cannot take that poor quality in my laptop. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. So at least this way you guys see a more realistic look on my makeup. Um, obviously, no filters. This is just me and my camera lights. <laughs> um, this look is Leo by none other than Kylie Cosmetics. This is one of my go-tos um, in the fall and of course the winter. This is obviously the lip I would go for during the holidays because I just love bold, darker lips and I think it complemented very well. Um, so the foundation, it has taken me about six hours to make this video and when i tell you that this foundation has not moved it feels softer than ever i barely feel like i have anything on um it smells still smells great um i love it i love 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 the foundation i would definitely use it again even in this shade um the brushes awesome the powder brush and the the smudge brush that came with the little black book eyeshadow set perfect i love elf brushes um the little black book palette 
loved it um everything was so blendable so smooth the nyx pigment that was also a very first um they're very loose pigments like i said so please be careful when applying them but the outcome they are beautiful um use very tiny amounts or glitter glue and you will be fine the loose setting powder by maybelline another hit i loved it um after i applied the setting spray i used the same spread the sp setting spray i used to prep my face the morphe setting spray after i sprayed it it just you cannot tell i have powder on my face at all i love it the morphe gel eyeliner as well as the brush great combination i loved the way it applied it dried very quickly and i would definitely recommend it and use it again i guess the only thing that i did not love were, were the eyelore nicole guerrero 143 um lashes such a mess i put so much glue on and they would still not stick it was so frustrating um i didn't like the mess it created they were they were not good thank you so so much again for sticking with me through this ride Ugh, this crazy ass video Thank you so much. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram at awesomely needy. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Hopefully, no glitches. Normal. Just bye. Bye.